Hey everybody, this is Fulio and Damien of Echele Porros Productions and today we're gonna show you guys how to make some chilaquiles divorciados. Let's get started. So chilaquiles divorciados are basically just red and green chilaquiles. And we promise, unlike with our aguas chiles, these ones are actually gonna be red and green. I got enough color to make that happen. So let's go over the ingredients we'll need for both the red and the green salsa. The red salsa is gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna be using guajillo peppers, some roasted yellow onion, because we like that sweetness that comes out of the yellow onion. And we're gonna be boiling that in some chicken broth. So we're gonna take that, blend it, strain it, and we're gonna use that as our salsa roja. For our salsa verde, we're gonna be using some tomatillos, five, six of them, these are pretty small. Jalapenos, or if you want it spicier, you can use some serrano peppers. Cilantro, and again, some yellow onion. Let's get started with our salsa verde. Today for that, we're gonna be using our handy dandy pressure cooker air fryer, but we're gonna be air frying our tomatillos, our jalapenos, and our onion. So we got all our veggies in our air fryer basket. We're gonna put it in at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until these get charred. About halfway through, you can take it out, shake it up, so that way you get a nice and even char. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in our air fryer and boom, roasted. You want a nice color, nice char, that's gonna give you nice, great flavor. And don't forget when we blend this, we're gonna be using a good amount of garlic because I really like garlic. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna blend it up. Pour the contents in, add some salt, start with about two to three teaspoons and add it up from there because you can always add salt, you can't take it out. Your garlic, this one is minced garlic with red chili pepper. So it's gonna hopefully add a little more kick. And then depending on how thick you want your salsa, you can add uh, a bit of chicken stock to smooth it out. So let's get that started. There you have your salsa verde. We're gonna take this, take our container, take a strainer and strain this out. And of course, if you want your salsa nice and chunky and you want all the seeds in there, skip this step. You don't have to strain it. All right, and once you get it all nice and strained, you get this nice, smooth salsa verde. So we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna get ready for our salsa roja. Here's that final end product. We're gonna get this. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? So we're gonna take this, put it in our blender, blend it all up again. So. Along with all those juices, some more garlic, cause why not? And again, some salt and some sazon seasoning to make sure we home, hammer home that these are chilaquiles rojos not like our aguas chiles. Damian, hang on. And now that that's blended through, just like with our salsa verde, we're gonna strain our salsa. All right, and now that you got both your salsa strained, you can put those to the side, and we're gonna get our chips ready. So here we have a bunch of cut up tortilla, nice fourths, and we're gonna get those and we're gonna fry them up until they're nice, golden, golden brown, and then we'll make the rest of our chilaquiles from there. Now that we got our chips fried up, we're gonna get two pans on the stove, and we're gonna give a ladle or two of our salsa to each. And you're gonna let that cook down. And I know we're cross-contaminating a bit, but it's all right. You're gonna let those cook down a bit. And once they're nice and burbling, you can get half your chips. Half are gonna go in the salsa verde, and half in the roja. Kill the heat and toss them around. Once you got your chips nice and covered, get a new pan and crack some eggs in while it's still coming up to temp. I'm gonna leave that nice and low, put a lid on it, and let it ride. And now that we got basically all our ingredients ready, we're gonna head back to the table and assemble our dish. 
All right, let's get our dish assembled. So to make sure our chilaquiles divorciados stay divorciados, we're gonna start off with some black beans. Don't worry, it'll come together. Next, we'll get some more chilaquiles verdes, cause ladies first. We're trying to encroach on the neutral frijoles on. And next, our chilaquiles rojos. And our piece de resistance. Well. Then you're gonna get some queso fresco. Get it on there. Some crema. We're gonna try and get a nice thin drizzle on this. And top with some cilantro. And there you have it. Chilaquiles divorciados. Let's try this out. First, we'll go for our red side. I don't know if you can hear that, but these chips are super saturated in the salsa, but you still get a nice crunch. Better than Perfection. And now like everyone in modern era, after the chilaquiles rojos and chilaquiles verdes saying that it missed you mama's cooking, you don't have to respond, they hooked up again. So, both of them together. I make some good shit. Anyways, I've been Fulio of Echele Porter's Productions, and today we showed you guys how to make some awesome chilaquiles divorciados. We just started 2023. We just started 2023, and we're already talking about divorce. Good sign. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you, babe. Anyways, <laughs> I've been Fulio. I've been Fulio. This has been Damian. And he's ready to try. And as always, <clears throat> recipe, recipe will be down in the description. Recipe will be down in the description and we're gonna be getting a recipe card out for this soon. So hopefully you enjoyed, and as always, stay safe, stay awesome, peace.